Welcome back to the non shop. We're in the basement right now because we don't have room for this upstairs. But what we have now is a CNC router. Uh, this is a uh, new wave automation Piranha XL. XL meaning it's got a slightly longer bed. Uh, run, running a DeWalt router in it right now. It's probably going to be there permanently. What we're going to do here is our very first test cuts. This is the very first cuts. You get to witness success or failure. The first thing we're going to cut is this little sprocket gear right here. We're doing a test cut only a quarter inch thick just to see if it works. Then the second test, test cut will be these slots in the heddles of this loom. Look up heddles. Just Google it. <laughs> so, um, I've been cutting them by hand and it's a pain in the butt. Yeah, on a router table. Yes. Yeah. Push through with a jig. So, uh, we think we got everything set up alright now. We've got the router set up. We've X'd everything where it's supposed to be. We have a waste board or spoil board and some quarter inch stock screwed to that. So we're ready to e enter the program to the machine and we're going to see if this actually cuts. So, heads up, heads on. Here we go. Good luck to us. So, press that right there, the sprocket. Okay. And turn on the dust collection. So, Lucky, I'm going to pull these off the waste, the spoil board, and we'll take a look at them. Grab my uh, drill. Where's my drill? I brought it down here. Uh, right where you're not looking. Yeah, you know, you know how you you put a tool down and you know exactly where it is, but you don't, and your wife finds it for you. It was behind my butt. So if you're looking at my butt, you would have found it. Yeah, that's the button thing. All right, so gear number one, test piece, quarter inch. Uh, there is an upcut here. Uh, I'm not sure. I got to get that out of the drawing, but that's fine. But there it is. See, and it matches that. Now this will eventually be out a half inch stock, but uh, I think I'm think I'm really happy with that. Uh, hold that. Let me get the yep. other one out. We didn't go full cut on the heddles because uh, we discovered a while. that it's very slow. So I've got to, I've got to adjust the cutter speed safely with this drill bit. Keep in mind, this is just a test piece, but look at the precision of that. So it's got the holes drilled nicely in there and beautiful cut grooves. And it matches. So it's going to, this is what it's finally going to look like eventually. So there it is. Cuts number one, faults and all of our new CNC router cutting machine. So next next time we'll be in the, by the way, this is not going in the shop for a while. We have to do some cleanup and rearrange in the shop. And this will eventually be in the shop, but right now it's going to live in the basement. Till next time, later. And here it is in the shop. We we're able to rearrange a few things, clean up and bring the CNC up to the shop, garage. We put it on a little table we got on Craigslist for I think 10 bucks. The, uh, the things we've added is New Wave's dust collection system, added a, a dust stopper from Home Depot and a dust and a uh, shop vac, which then pulls all the chips out from under here and it works really, really well. There's actually a job, a test job in there right now. We've uh, made a few changes to the way they set the system up. I'll get into more details later, but let me, let me bring the camera in and show you what I'm talking about as far as some of the changes. You actually saw this in the video earlier. This is the control box for the computer system. It comes as a just a box you hold in your hand. Uh, I bought this articulated arm on Amazon, which has a quarter 20 connection in the back. This had a quarter 20 threaded insert, so I was able to screw it up there and put it in place. So now we have the control box, easy reach, and you don't have to pick it up and put it down. Now, over back behind that, you'll see this aluminum box I made that, and I'll describe later in another video why I made that. It turns on the dust collector and the router at the same time. 
that's what this 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 cable here is for. It goes from the computer, has a switching relay in there, and it turns on both the original box that came to control the router, turn it on and off when you run the program, uh, wasn't adequate to do the job. I'll, I'll do a video about what it was and what I did. So that's it. It's in the shop now, and we are having fun, and I'll show you what kind of fun. Earlier in the video, we showed you a test cut of a gear that goes on the tape loom, a small tape loom that Mara and I held up to the camera. So here's one of the finished gears. This is half inch poplar. It goes on a shaft and allows you to lock the tension on the threads in the loom. And to do that, we cut out these pawls as well that fit nice and neatly into the gear. And you just lift it and move it and it tightens up your threads. Uh, we do 10 of these at a time on one piece of wood. And this fits really neat because I, really tight because I took this portion of this drawing and added it to this portion of this drawing, so it's a perfect fit. I was a machinist at one point. We also showed you the initial test cut on the holes and the slots for the heddles. Well, here is a finished heddle. The holes are for the threads that are pulled up and down with the heddle. The slots are for the threads that remain in place, so you do that over-under thing when you're weaving. Black magic to me. I don't do that kind of. Mars is a fiber artist, not me. They uh, also do the sides of the tape looms as well. Now, why do we make these parts? These are what we call finicky bits. Finicky bits are small, tedious parts that you have to make over and over and over again for multiple projects. Mar has a small home business. She sells her looms and, and spinning and weaving tools on Etsy. She sells them at local stores. This increases profit margin because instead of making one gear at a time, two gears or three gears at a time, you're making 10 at a time and it takes way less time to do it. Increases your profit margin. Her profit margin paid for that CNC machine. So that's where we're at right now. We're going to continue to use it. We'll expand its use. I'll do some projects myself. I'll do a video of it cutting something out at some point. And uh, with that said, uh, have a great day and great, make great things out of wood.